My name's Craig Turnbull. I'm Director of Engineering for Electro Impact UK Limited, and we are a worldwide supplier of bespoke automation to the aerospace industry. Electro Impact has changed over the years from a company that supplied one piece of equipment to a turnkey provider of, of solutions. In the past, we would design a machine to a specification and install it at a customer's facility. Now, what we're increasingly being asked for is an entire factory production line. So we would be given um, a component that a company would want to make, and we would be expected to design the entire production line from start to finish. Machinery compliance for Electro Impact is very difficult. We build a lot of bespoke equipment that doesn't fall under one clear category of, of legislation. So often what we're doing is taking multiple different standards and merging them together to, to, to infer compliance. Amtri Veritas is very good at identifying which legislation we should be using and then helping us with that discussion at a later stage because often you can find that a customer would have their own opinions on what compliance should be used. So I remember one project that I worked on myself where we designed a, a quite a dangerous looking um, robotic milling system for a research centre in Sheffield, the AMRC. Um, and what amazed me about that project is how the details can be the stumbling block. Um, in particular, we, we had a, a secondary company working for us providing an enclosure. They provided a room and the room provided the basis of the safety case for the robot. If no one can get to the robot, then, then there isn't a problem. And um, it ultimately came down to a, a conversation, a, a discussion about the door handle. Um, that because we, we, we thought, well, well, we'll fit a door with an emergency escape bar, but that escape bar, because it's now bolted to machine, would fall under the machinery directive and not the building's codes. We were debating about the distance between an emergency push bar and the door frame. Uh, and it was something that we never saw coming and we would never have seen it coming if it wasn't for Amtree pointing it out. I think the relationship between Amtree Veritas and Electro Impact has been really key in informing our business we have in the UK. Uh, we are an American company and, and in the early stages of, of us operating in the UK, I think the United States took a very different view on safety. They're now, we're now aligning. Uh, we certainly couldn't have grown our business without the involvement of Amtree because it, in the early days it gave us a credibility level that we didn't, we didn't necessarily have. Thankfully now we've earned that ourselves, but we're still not looking to abandon our relationship with Amtree Veritas. So on behalf of Electro Impact, I'd like to wish Amtri Veritas a very happy 25th anniversary. Um, I hope they're here in another 25 years and I hope they continue to answer the phone for our incredibly more complicated ideas.